This is the Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Ent, brought to you by Gate City Bank for a better way of life and Pepsi. Welcome on into the Bison Football Show along with Coach Entz. I'm Sam Niederman and the Bison get a convincing playoff victory in the quarterfinals against South Dakota. 45-17 to the final and Coach couldn't have drawn it up any better today. No, I, it, it happened in a lot of different ways and um, just I can't say enough about our, our coaches, the plan they put together this week. Um, kind of getting ahead and really emphasizing some little things that I thought showed up this week. And then our players, just grasp, willingness to dive into the game plan and, and, and execute it at a high level, played with great energy today. I thought our tackling, uh, our execution up front on the offensive line, Cam had another tremendous day. Anytime you have 200 rushing, 200 passing, something good's, come, something good's gonna happen. No doubt about it, Coach. Let me ask you this, how charged up was our sideline there in the first half? They, pretty charged up. <laughs> I was taking a lot of, you know, two-handed shots at times. <laughs> and then right at halftime as well. I mean, when it's 35-3, uh, those guys were cranked up because we had challenged them all week that, you know, we felt game one, we, we, we didn't answer the bell. We, we showed up, you know, too late. And we didn't have enough time to come back. And, and today we knew we had to get off the field. We had to be more dominant on the line of scrimmage on both sides. And there had to be some explosive plays that we had to execute. And we saw that in our punt return. We saw that with Eli Green, run game. I mean, I could go on and on. Yeah, everything was working there in that first half. And you guys were able to get everything you needed done in the second half. How much confidence does this group have now that they're really starting to put things together in the postseason? Yeah, quite a bit. You know, I think uh, a lot's been said. Uh, I, we talked about it after the game. Uh, one of the most positive and negative words out there is believe. Because you have to have unconditional, like, resolve. If you're going to believe in something, you know, it, you can't be on the fence. And our kids are... They're not on the fence. They, they're believing in what we're doing. They believe in our process. They believe in our game plans. And I think for the last four or five weeks, you've, you've seen the byproduct of that. And that's, you know, us playing well on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. Got off to a great start in this one. First half highlights presented by Gate City Bank. There were plenty of them as the Bison took a 35-3 lead going into the halftime locker room. Coyotes showing pressure on third and long. Time for Miller. Heaves one deep and has a man. Caught! Henderson. And the first big play for the Bison all the way down in USD territory. And a gain of 37 yards. Time for Miller. On the move. Pass is caught. Eli Green in a first down. Now the pressure came from Gaze. And Miller bought enough time to keep this drive going. Nelson in the slot. Cam Miller time now races for the goal line. Did he get there? He did. Touchdown, Bison. Bison needs six. Miller passes caught green. Two yards pass. First down yardage. That'll keep the drive alive. Miles Harden in coverage. And dominate that line of scrimmage and execute at a high level. Play action, Miller. He'll step ahead. Fires to Green, who has it. And another big play in the passing game. The pressure was coming from Brendan Webb. Could get home. Advantage Bison. Rajon Nelson joins him in the backfield. Matt Ed said he's a freak. Ronnie Jones thinks he could be a tight end in the next level. Here come the Jets. Payton to the house. Price back deep to receive this punt. A penalty marker flies. And Price with an empty cut. Big yardage. Price into the open field. There he goes. He will not be caught. Touchdown, Bison. Really, you just want to approach it the same way as you did coming into this game. Second and nine.
has risen from the ashes in 2023 to win 10 games. Most impressive win in school history. Intercepted off the carom. Wisniewski has it. Originally tipped by Luke Wirtz. NDSU forcing a turnover. Peyton, the quarterback. The power run. Peyton tiptoeing the sidelines into the end zone. Targeted six times already. Full complement of timeouts to work with. Across the middle. Ripped away and intercepted. Wisniewski again. And a new school record with eight picks. First half stats presented by Nodak Insurance Company and Coach, your team, as we mentioned earlier, got it done in all three phases in that first half. What was the feeling like when you saw Jaden Price go in on that punt return? That we were clicking. Yeah. You know, that, that, you know, people had bought into to the game plan, bought into the, the fundamentals of it. And, you know, all year we felt as if if we get connected, we get hands-on people on, on punt D that we can be explosive. And we've shown bits here and there, but, man, that was, that was maybe the play that we were, we were, hey, we're playing well, and then all of a sudden felt like it started to grow and the avalanche started to happen where, you know, man, this is going to be hard for them to come back. We, we are playing at a high level. Mm -hmm. New school record, by the way. Five punt return touchdowns for JP is a new record holder. That's, a, that, that's awesome. Man, it couldn't happen to a more humble young man. I, I'm sure he doesn't even know that. And if he does, it, he's hearing it on the radio or something. I, I, I did not know that. But, you know, that, that, that one, it says a lot about his longevity here, you know, and it, it, his success he's had. Mm -hmm. It was awesome first half for the Bison. Much more to come in the second half. We'll break it down with Coach Entz coming up next here on the Bison Football Show. Teamwork, talent, dedication, leadership. These values that win championships on the field, build community, improve lives, and make a difference every single day. For you, for our neighbors, for our community, for a better way of life. Gate City Bank. We're all players in the waiting game. Whether that's for the day's first flight, the first shot, or the first retrieve. Entire off-seasons of prep and practice all pointed at that singular moment each of us live for. First light. Because that's when it all becomes real. And it's finally your time to shine. Shields. Champions work hard and champions play hard, but none of it happens without the rest and recovery that comes from a good night's sleep. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems is the official sleep partner of the NDSU Bison. And just like the herd, they're a proud company founded in North Dakota with North Dakota values and tradition. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems is a third generation company now at the showroom in Fargo, offering premium mattresses to help you take your sleep seriously. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems, located on 13th Avenue. You're going to love sleeping with us. Hi, I'm Dr. Arden Beachy, medical director at Swanson Hyperbarics and former Bison quarterback. We all know that injuries are part of the game. We treat concussions, ankle sprains, and everything in between. Our goal is to safely return athletes back to the action and have them performing at their best. Whether it's hyperbaric oxygen therapy, the ozone hocket, or magnetic therapy, our technologies will reduce inflammation quickly and speed up the healing process. Call Swanson Hyperbarics today and find out how we can help you. Orthopedic pain is limiting. It's unpredictable. And when it disrupts the way you move, it disrupts the way you live. Life is better when you feel empowered to move the way you want, when you want. And that's where our experts come in. We're your guides to orthopedic and sports medicine treatment options that can manage your pain, rehab your injuries, and restore your confidence. Take back the freedom to move. Explore your orthopedic options at Sanford Health. Better starts with convenience. Better starts with trust. You can trust that your pre-approval is guaranteed on closing day, which is one less thing to worry about. Better starts with saving you money. No ATM fees and no minimum balances mean how you spend your money is up to you. Because at Gate City Bank, better starts with you. Gate City Bank. 
for a better way of life. Back at it here on the Bison Football Show with Coach Entz and Coach looking at the second half of this game. Yep. They came out, they got a score uh, to draw within 25, but we were able to put together a very time-consuming drive that resulted in points and kept them away. Yeah, you know, we did. We gave up an explosive play on that first drive, but you know, they ate up about six minutes o'clock you know, in the drive. So I, I thought, you know, we didn't let them score quickly. We made them have to earn it. And then we turned right around, and I think, when we kicked that field goal, there was like 45, 50 seconds left on the clock. I mean, that was a 10-minute, 16-play drive. That, that, that looked like Bison football. And, you know, we had drives of 10, 10 minutes ne nearly, 7 minutes, 5 and a half, 6 minutes. I mean, we, we, were, we were wearing them out on the other side of the ball. Uh, and, and that was positive to see the confidence that our kids were playing with up front. On the flip side of things, you're able to force a few more interceptions, lean in the country in interceptions, two from Wiz, one from Sam Young, yep. got some pressure as well. We did. We only, you know, had two sacks, but I felt like we were on his toes all day long. And, you know, I want to say two of the picks were tips and overthrows. Um, you know, that that is a that is a, a, a coach Jimmy Burrow special. I mean, if you can get tips and overthrows, that's gonna turn into positive results. And you know, I, I was real I mean we hit the quarterback a lot today, and we need, that's something we did not do in game one. Um, we, we were the most dominant team on the line of scrimmage today, and um, I give a lot of credit to our players and our coaches for getting our guys ready to go. How do you think this team has kind of found a new level of that physicality, Coach, whether it be pressure on the quarterback, controlling the offensive line, establishing right. a run game? You know, a little bit of it is sometimes you just got to go back to the basics, and I think after probably the North Dakota game, that's where kind of reeled everything in a little bit and you know we needed to find a way to mitigate you know not playing well um, but we weren't going to make any drastic decisions at that moment or you know just outlandish program changes well, let's just get back to what we're good at and you know let's just do what we're good at and see what happens and that's what we've done we tried to simplify uh, we've tried to give our kids you know less calls, more information, smaller game plan, so that way we can play fast and, and play fearless on, mm -hmm. on Saturday. The coach role's line is play football, not think football. It, no doubt. Yeah. No doubt. We want to be we want to be reacted reactionary on Saturday, not not processing. Mm -hmm. And so I and I think you're seeing that right now. Yeah, we saw a lot of it in the second half. The Bison go on to a forty five to seventeen win over USD. Here are our second half highlights presented by Gate City Bank. Although, if you're a receiver and you're running downfield and you're an official, you see the flaps of the shoulder pad flopping out. I think you can safely assume that it was a hole. Across the middle, pass is caught. And a hard collision after the fact. Zach Mathis in that 6-7 frame breaking wide open across the middle. And a gain of 22 just inside the left hash. And a 40-yard attempt on the way. And it is good. I think it's Jane Daniels, but I'm not super confident. 15 minutes to go to start our fourth quarter. Bauman's going to be sacked. They were looking for the wheel route to Pierre. Now the second time we've seen Jarrett Sinek. Hoist one deep and playing center field. Back there was Sam Young for the easy interception. And he stepped out of bounds on the return. Teams from the Big Sky and Missouri Valley Conference that are Excellent programs. Williams taking off towards the pylon. An easy touchdown. Final stats in this one presented as always by Nodak Insurance Company. And coach, uh, your offense, 45 points. You guys have scored 30 plus in five consecutive games. The most consecutive 30 plus point outings since the 1819 season so dynamic wow. offense really turned the corner you did some digging on that on that side <laughs> I, right I've got to credit ABC <laughs> I just looked at the TV during the game I ABC you. had but, that one you know we, we have a number of talented young men on our football team on the offensive side we got a signal caller we have a backup who's just as dynamic in different ways. They complement one another unbelievably well. We have a veteran offensive line. Uh, we have tight ends, running backs, receivers that all can make explosive plays at any given time. And you know, I, our, our offensive staff is doing an awesome job of putting them in situations to be successful, not, not inundating them with the extra, but making sure that we're just good at what we need to be.
You mentioned your signal caller. That's Cam Miller. He is our player of the game. And after the game, he caught up with Logan Campbell. Cam, this was your second go around with South Dakota this season. What was the difference maker in today's playoff game? We just started fast. You know, I thought we played well in the second half the first time we played them, and we finally put a full game together against them. You said that this is the most complete performance that your team has mm -hmm. out. What has allowed you to operate this offense at such a high level today? I think the play calling was tremendous today, and it makes my job a lot easier when you have a great offensive line and guys that make plays all over the field. You're going on 12 weeks in a row playing football, have to go back to Montana. How are you guys feeling? We love it. You know, we just embrace the grind. We embrace being the road warriors, and we love it. Road warriors, love it. Thanks so much, Cam. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, thank you, Logan. Coach Cam Miller, 13 out of 15, 210, rushing score and a passing score, and some of the throws he made today. I was just up there in the booth, and it was like he's, he's throwing darts. He yeah, was awesome. He was. He was. He was accurate. He was confident in what he was doing. Um, but, what, you know, after that first series, I know he took a sack that he was like, ah, I shouldn't have done that. You know, I thought he made some good decisions getting rid of the ball later in the game. I know those were his two incompletions were him just not, not taking sacks, not getting us. I, I want to say one of them was that field goal, uh, the series that we ended up in a field goal. He, he got rid of the ball, and we still had a chance to come away with three points. And um, that's a sign of a veteran player who, you know, understands that the bigger picture is more important than his numbers or, or his success. You know, during the game, I had a buddy text me, Manning and Harrison, Montana and Rice, Miller and Green. How yeah. about that connection but, between well, those two? You know, and, and you're right. Eli is a tremendous talent, but I mean, we had seven different players mm -hmm. make catches today. Um, and, and it's been even more than that in certain games. I mean, just his confidence level in our, our offensive skill kids is at all-time high. His confidence in himself, his confidence in the O-line, and just having complete control of what we're doing offensively. He's, he continues to mature and take it to another level. It's been a lot of fun to watch. No, doubt. no doubt about that. More to come here on the Bison Football Show with Coach Entz. When we come back, we catch up with NDSU safety, Darius Givens. Don't go anywhere. Check it, check it, check it, check it out. Introducing the new and improved taste of Pepsi Zero Sugar. Now more delicious. Zero never tasted so good. Try it now. Teamwork. Talent. Dedication. Leadership. These values that win championships on the field. Build community. Improve lives. And make a difference every single day. For you, for our neighbors, for our community, for a better way of life. Gate City Bank. I want to do everything to the best of my ability. Travel. My bad. On the court and on the road. If I make a mistake, I want to know. Lane violation. And when I'm at my best, I want to see the rewards. That's why I signed up for the Drive for Less program with NODAC Insurance. I drive safely so I could save up to 30% on my insurance premium. Driving safe and saving money? That's a good call. Download the NODAC Insurance app today. Watch Bison Media Zone on WDAY Extra. Join our seasoned host for in-depth discussions you won't find anywhere else. And expert analysis from those who know the game inside and out. Your one-stop source for predictions, game recaps, and real-time reactions. BMZ puts the spotlight on Bison sports like never before. Watch Bison Media Zone on WDAY Extra. Wednesday mornings at 1030, right after Hot Mike. Better with Pepsi. One. Welcome back to the Bison Football Show here with Coach Entz. I'm Sam Biederman. In this week's Olaf Anderson feature, we caught up with NDSU safety Darius Givens. Tell me about just expectations for yourself, goals you put on starting this season, uh, beyond like getting on the field. I want to contribute. Tell me about that when fall camp started. Really just, I know that there's a lot of, a lot of holes in the back end and I knew that it was going to be a grind just to get to anywhere that where I wanted to be for myself personally. Um, I just knew I had to grind, take it day by day, 
and just put in the work. Uh, I really had high goals for myself. I for sure wanted to just see the field, help the team out in any way I can. How gratifying is it then now to be out there and being able to contribute that you have over the last few weeks? It's a huge, huge excitement just for getting a taste of what that really feels like. And I'm excited to keep on putting up work and just doing what I can do to help out in any way I can. I'm super excited for the future and I'm, I'm glad I'm getting the reps I can now just to help get up to speed with everything just so I know I'll be ready for later. Ripped up, nice play on special teams. That's Darius Givens that comes up with the tackle. What do you think is your best attribute? I just trust in a lot of what guys gifted me with and just, you know, being in the right spot, right time, and just maximizing what I can get out of my body. I remember a photo, Darius, from the All-Star game with you and six other guys, They're not all your current oh, yeah. teammates. What was that experience like? To, okay, these are guys I'm going to be playing with. Yeah, that was crazy because the All-Star game is like, it's like the best of the best for Minnesota. So seeing all those guys and be like, we're going to be teammates next year. I'm going to see you in like six months like it was really cool we got to hang out a lot spend a lot of time get to know each other and really just set in stone like our chemistry and what we got going on going forward all righty coach darius givens a player who's contributed a lot on special teams for your squad this yes year. and he's just he continues to grow at the safety position young man out of champlin park highly recruited uh came to our three-day camp and we fell in love with him you know kind of was multi-positional corner slash safety and I think he's kind of you know found his niche at the safety position I think he's only scratching the surface of what his abilities are here mm -hmm. time for the great clips question our great clips great question of the game is from Brian and Dilworth and Brian wants to know coach how difficult is it to win on the road in the postseason? Well, yeah, we, we haven't done it a lot, but this year, and so anytime you have to go on the road, um, you know, you're, you're, you're combating home field advantage, you're combating uh, maybe a hostile environment, not staying at home in a hotel, you know, all the travel requirement, logistics of it, and so, you know, the thing we try to do is talk about it early in the week, so we identify all these things that are gonna be different, and so that way, as the week unfolds, it's like by the time we get there, it's like, oh, big deal. Um, you know, eliminate distractions, you know, as the week unfolds. And that, that's been a good recipe for us and a way to approach it. Road Warriors got that's one right. more. One that's more right. step here on the journey for the Bison. They're on to the semifinals, taking on Montana next Saturday in Missoula. We'll break down a little bit about that matchup, take a first look at it with Coach coming up next here on the Bison Football Show. Better starts with convenience. Better starts with trust. You can trust that your pre-approval is guaranteed on closing day, which is one less thing to worry about. Better starts with saving you money. No ATM fees and no minimum balances mean how you spend your money is up to you. Because at Gate City Bank, better starts with you. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. Exclusively at Halberstadt's West Acres Mall, discover the largest selection of Cole Haan footwear, all on sale for 20 to 50% off the retail price. Step into sophistication with Cole Haan footwear. Each shoe features impeccable craftsmanship and premium materials designed to last and impress. Enjoy the versatility and comfort Cole Haan has to offer. Elevate your wardrobe today. Visit Halberstadt's West Acres Mall for 20 to 50% off our massive Cole Haan footwear inventory. Get more local news and weather from the most watched news team in the region. WDAY News, weeknights at 4 and 5. Committed to being first on the scene for major local stories and bringing you straightforward facts every day. Plan for the night ahead at 4 p.m. with the weather impacting your area. With more easy to understand weather coverage at 5. Everything you need to know. Turn to the news leader, WDAY News. We're all players in the waiting game. Whether that's for the day's first flight, the first shot, or the first retrieve. Entire off-seasons of prep and practice all pointed at that singular moment each of us live for. First light. Because that's when it all becomes real. And it's finally your time to shine. Shields. 
Champions work hard and champions play hard, but none of it happens without the rest and recovery that comes from a good night's sleep. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems is the official sleep partner of the NDSU Bison. And just like the herd, they're a proud company founded in North Dakota with North Dakota values and tradition. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems is a third generation company now at the showroom in Fargo, offering premium mattresses to help you take your sleep seriously. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems, located on 13th Avenue. You're going to love sleeping with us. Wrapping things up here on the Bison Football Show with Coach N says NDSU takes a 45 to 17 victory over South Dakota in the FCS quarters. Coach, next stop on the journey to Frisco semifinals, yep. heading out to take on the two seed Montana in Missoula. Should be a fun one on Saturday. It will be, and uh, you know we just got done talking about road games and hostile environments here. This is going to be the epitome of it. Um, you know, Washington Grizzly Stadium is one of the marquee venues in, in all of college football, in my opinion. Uh, Bobby Houck is a, is a tremendous coach. Got great respect for him. He's a good friend of mine and someone that I connect with often. And so we are going to have to play, you know, a flawless game um, if we have any uh, thoughts of, of, of coming away with a victory. Coach, cannot wait. Congratulations on the Appreciate win today. You. Thank you, Sam, for yes, everything sir. you do. Looking forward to it. We'll see you in Missoula. Yes. Alrighty, thank you so much to our crew here at WDAY. We appreciate them all season long. One more stop for the Bison as we go to Wa Grizz to take on the Montana Grizzlies out in Missoula in the semis next Saturday. For Coach Entz, I'm Sam Niederman. We'll catch you guys next time. Today's Bison football show with Coach Matt Entz has been presented by Gate City Bank for a better way of life and Pepsi. This has been an exclusive presentation from Learfield. Let me show you what goes on behind the scenes when making a shakaroni. Bust. We created shakaroni my way an extra large pizza topped with extra cheese and extra pepperoni. It's a simple recipe. We take everything you love, then we build it bigger. Pizza gets bigger when you shakaroni. WDAY Plus brings you local high school sports on WDAY Extra and streaming on Inforum.com. Cass Clay and Sanford Health present Area Girls Basketball. The Central Cass Squirrels 